If you could only wear two fragrances for the rest of your life, what would they be? What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we are doing something a little bit different and very exciting. I have invited some of my favorite fragrance YouTubers and style YouTubers to share with you their two picks for their Desert Island Ultimate Two Fragrance Collection. Take it away, gentlemen. Hey everyone, my name is Dave and I'm with the channel Fragrance Bros. Now, of course, this was pretty difficult to choose two different fragrances, but for my choices, I wanted to choose fragrances that mean a lot to me, as well as two fragrances that could be easily wearable between a lot of different occasions and seasons. So I picked one that was fresh and one that was a little bit darker. My first choice is not going to be any surprise to anyone that visits my channel, and that one is Green Irish Tweed by Creed. It's a very refined scent that is green and fresh at the start, and then dries down into kind of a musky, woody base. Uh, phenomenal. Next was a little harder for me, but I went with Memoirs of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors. This one is vanilla-based, and it smells like vanilla and oak barrels. It has an almost caramelized, charred, woody aspect to it as well. It's phenomenal, and I really love it, especially in the fall and the winter. Both of these are really easy to wear, and I wear them a lot. I absolutely love them, and they just make me feel good. So those are my two choices. Thank you again, Brian, for having me on. Really appreciate it. Hello everyone, my name is Steven and I have a YouTube channel called Red Lessons. First things first, I would like to give a very special thank you to Brian for having me be a part of this collaboration. Now my two for life picks, the first one that I would like to talk about is by the company Parfum de Marly and this one is called Carlisle. This is an exotic and sensual blend of vanilla and spices with some soft woods. It is completely unforgettable and I personally love the smell. And the second one that I would like to discuss is by the company Histoire de Parfum and it's called 1720. 25 Casanova. It is a lavender based scent and it's a very sentimental fragrance for me because it happens to be the fragrance that I was wearing when my daughter was born. I find it to be completely gentlemanly. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Brian, again for having me be in this video. Hello, friends of He Spoke Style. My name is John and I'm the founder of 40 Over Fashion. Brian, my friend, thank you very much for including me in this fragrance roundup. I'm fairly new at the fragrance game. I think I own about eight or nine fragrances total, all relatively mainstream. So Brian asked if I could only have two fragrances for the rest of my life, what would they be? So I thought that I would break this up into a day fragrance and a night fragrance. For the day, I would run with Creed Aventus all day long. I love this stuff, it lasts forever. It's a light, crisp, citrusy fragrance, but it also has a little bit of a heavy note of wood. I like that very much. For the evening, I think I would be running with Tom Ford Noir Extreme. This is relatively new for me and I am enjoying this quite a bit. I love the masculinity that this projects. It does last a long time. It's got a heavy weight to it that's great, I think, for the evening. Anyway, Brian, those are my two fragrances. Guys, thank you very much. Take care. Hey, gents, a two fragrance collection? I could definitely get behind that, Brian. My first decision point, being a person for my place with four seasons, is to break it up by spring, summer, and fall, winter. Something light and airy and fresh, and then something that makes me feel like I'm in a ski lodge around Christmas time. And for that one, it's really easy. This is the Replica Collection by Maison Margiela, and this is By the Fireplace. The best way to describe this is warm and cozy with top notes of clove oil, chestnut, and vanilla accord. It's just extremely pleasing. I love to spray like my scarf with this in the winter, but it's a little bit heavy, which is why then my spring summer one is a little bit light and airy and nothing better encapsulates that light and airy scent to me than Mont Blanc Individual. The top notes among others are rosemary, pineapple, cinnamon, jasmine, juniper berries, and mint. And both of these scents avoid that kind of like cheap lower end smell of Axe. So I feel I could wear these just as a daily wear, but also to a more formal event. So two fragrances for the rest of my life. This pretty much covers all of my current needs, but a great challenge, Brian. Thank you for inviting me on to cover that. If you wanna learn about the best men's wear on the internet, come check out The Cavalier. Hello, my name is Carlos, and I run a YouTube channel called Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thank you, Brian, for inviting me to be a part of this collab. I'm really honored. My first choice is from the house of Le Labo, this is called Santal 33. This is a sandalwood dominant fragrance. It's got a bit of freshness, but it's very long lasting and it drives down to a deep and very signature scent worthy sandalwood that lasts for a long, long time and will definitely make you stick out in a crowd. My second choice is, this is Creed's Green Irish Tweed. It's masculine, it's fresh, it's 
crowd pleasing it's very enjoyable for you to smell it and it just works for any occasion it's known as the king of spring because it does have a spring feeling about it but i think you can definitely rock this one year round how's it going everyone my name is max forte from the max forte channel in today's video a collaboration from he spoke style so first and foremost thank you so much brian for putting this together so the first one is a near and dear fragrance to me from the house of dolce and cabana this is dolce and cabana pour homme the original i absolutely love this fragrance this has a little bit of the old school barbershop lavender kind of feel you have citruses up top with a honeyed vetiver and tobacco this is a modern day classic masterpiece one of my all-time favorites that i'm glad to share with you guys however dolce and cabana pour homme would be more of a daily wear kind of fragrance you can dress it up you can dress it down but I think this for the structure of this fragrance I think it's great for morning or daily wear now when it comes to a great evening scent I believe this next one here is an elixir of sensuality sophistication elegance I'm talking about Raja Parfums Enigma or Creation you know this stuff here is boozy it has cognac it also has tobacco I think tobacco is a great male masculine scent so this is my second pick Roger Dove Parfums along with Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme. I think these two are great fragrances that any guy should have in their wardrobe. If you haven't yet, do check these out. I think you're going to be presently surprised. Once again, thank you so much, Brian, for putting this together and for having me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Now for my two picks. So when I was thinking about this, I kind of divided it into seasons. I wanted one fragrance that would work for spring and summer and one that would work for fall, winter. Also important to me was that the fragrance be versatile. Now for my first pick, my spring, summer fragrance, I also chose Creed's Green Irish Tweed. The fact that it has already been mentioned more than once should speak to this being a very, very solid fragrance. You've already heard some of the details about how it smells, so I won't go over that again. This is very clean very fresh, so easy to wear, always gets lots of compliments, an absolute no-brainer. Next, my second pick for fall winter. This was a tough one for me. I was really, really leaning towards Ralph Lauren Polo Green, but in the end, I decided to choose this one. This is Tom Ford Italian Cypress, very similar to Polo Green in that you have notes of pine. Three reasons though that I ended up choosing Italian Cypress over Polo Green. First, it's a little more niche, not as immediately recognizable. I like to have a little mystery to my fragrance. Second, it smells more luxe. I think it's more elevated. I think there's more complexity and depth to it. Third, although I chose it as a fall winter fragrance, I think it could be worn to a nice evening event in the spring or on a cool summer night as well. It's versatility kind of pushed it over the top for me. Big thanks to all the guys who contributed to this video. I really, really appreciate it. Links to their channels are down below in the description. I highly recommend following these gentlemen. I follow them all myself and always look forward to their videos. Also down below in the description, links to all of the fragrances mentioned in this video. So tell me in the comments, what would your ultimate two fragrance collection be and why? Thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.